Hey, what's up everyone? Steve here. And I thought I would do a video showing you guys how to do some resin casting. Uh, the hard way. Uh, professional way, kind of. I finally got my uh, vacuum pump. Um, I've had everything else set up for a while. It's just I haven't felt like spending the boatload of money it costs to buy a good pump. Um, you need something that's at least 5 cubic feet per minute. So that it can uh, degas your materials quickly. So you're not waiting like 20 minutes because uh, at that point your materials start to set up. So 5 cubic feet per minute or higher, um, 6 or 7 would be even better, but they get pretty pricey at that point. I actually got like one of the lower end FJC models, um, model VP 5.0. So yeah, uh, it's a pretty fun process. A lot of work. Um, I actually made my own vacuum chamber, saved myself some money, but not a lot. Um, the materials for this were at least 70 bucks, I think, and you can buy one for like 120. So it'll probably be easier for most people just to buy one. You'll save yourself a bunch of time. But if you're a do-it-yourselfer kind of person like me, you could make your own. Um, all I did was I used a I think that's a half inch piece of polycarbonate. Um, we've got a HG gauge there, uh, pressure relief relief valve here. Uh, we've got a hose barb I put in here. Uh, I'll connect to my motor here. I removed the fitting that came with the motor and put on a hose barb there so I can do that. Uh, just put a hose on there and if you hear the uh, frogs in the background it's uh, summer and during the summer they like to be loud uh, and yeah um, basically if you're gonna build your own you're gonna need pipe um, pipe taps pipe threading taps and is those are like 10 bucks each you can probably find them online actually a little cheaper but you get them at the, a good hardware store um, and I think this is quarter inch NPT this one's an eighth inch NPT so I had to get two uh, and yeah so it was actually pretty expensive to make this it's just a cast iron pot which was like 30 bucks not cast iron I, an aluminum pot you don't want to get a cast iron you want to get an aluminum pot um, it's good and nice and thick that you can actually tap. I probably should have put this uh, hose barb in here, but I didn't really want to at the time. But the aluminum is so thin that it would work better in the polycarbonate. Um, and you can do a different setup. This is kind of just winging it. And if I were to do it again, I would do it differently. But it works, so I'm pretty happy. Um, here is what I'm going to be making a mold of. Some of my older or my long time subscribers may remember a project I had started a long time ago trying to make an LED beam saber and I finally got all the pieces I need to make it so that's what I'll be doing. So I'm gonna get set up and show you guys the next steps. Okay so the uh, um, RTV silicone that I'm using is a Lumalite. I'm actually going to switch to a different stuff after I've finished the stuff of this I have. I've got a, this container and another one. Um, I mean it works, it's just I've never been super happy with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be measuring out using a scale um, my material 10 to 1 mix ratio so 10 parts this to one part of the set um, or the uh, harden, hardener so the first thing you want to do is always stir this up um, and I'm just using a spatula I got uh, super cheap at the box store and And 
next I want to mix in my uh, part B. And I want about 240 grams of this. Hopefully I have enough. And if I was doing a bigger batch, I'd probably use this paint stir, but uh, I'm not going to now. Go ahead and mix this up very nice and good. If you were not going to use a vacuum chamber, you'd need to be very careful not to get air bubbles and stuff in it. But since I'm not worrying about that, I can mix it up very Rigorous, rigorously Just try to get this mixed up the best I can. It's very important that it's mixed up well, otherwise you get gooey spots that'll just never cure. And you'll notice how I had put it in a container that's a lot larger than uh, the amount of stuff I was working with. Um, that's because when you degas it, all those air bubbles are going to expand as the uh, vacuum kicks in and then the material is going to rise so you want something that's going to be able to hold that material in as it rises and uh, since I'm all ready to go I'm going to kick on the compressor and see how it works Alright, I think that's pretty good. It took about five minutes or so. Um, there's still a few little bubbles popping up. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute and then uh, pour it. And if you're wondering, uh, to release all that pressure, I just need to open this up. And there we go. Now this is going to take a good 24 hours to cure. I'm going to probably give it like 36 hours or actually probably 48 hours just to be really sure that everything is cured. Then I'll come back and cast the other side. Um, now I would like to be able to put this back in the uh, chamber and degas it again 
because obviously I've got a few air bubbles, but this Lego setup doesn't fit in my aluminum pot, so I either need to get a different size base or um, make it out of like cardboard or something, but for now this will work. It doesn't need to be exactly perfect, but good enough. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next part.